Whoop, whoop. Greetings y'all, Del Puckett here with build number 145. And I will show you exactly how I built this thing and I will show you the insides. Whoop whoop! Okay, I'm going to start off with a flyover. You can see the hinge and the saddle, the volume knob, the paint job, the F-holes. This is a just intonated one-piece neck. It's white oak that's been dark stained with uh, ebony. I have my signature hook and eyelets with screw holding the strings down. And of course, linoleum tacks for the position markers on the top. All right, here's a quick overview on how I did this. So I take an Arturo Fuente Churchill box, then I get a razor blade, cut the paper off, sand it smooth, right? And then I'll take, I actually take, take the lid off, right? I take, take the lid off the box. And then what I do is I get a five gallon bucket of water and then add borax to it and that causes the paint to float. And then I spray painted red paint on the top of the water. And then I took the top of the cigar box and like shh, dumped it inside, kind of slowly, kind of splashed it around and brought it out. And that's the pattern that it makes. Kind of this random pattern. All right, so this is, this is what it'll look like. Now here's the inside of the box here. You can see I got the bracings on the four corners. The inside is all dark stained. I do have bracings underneath the neck here that are pre-drilled. So they can just screw the, the neck in from the back. Oh, this one does have the hidden springs on the inside of the neck. And you won't be able to see it if you look into the sound hole. So these are the mystery springs. Anyhow, so these are attached four corners. And I do have nice finishing nail or finishing washers on there. All right, we are tuned E, B, E, and I'm gonna harmonize the E major scale up the neck. I'm gonna keep the low E string ringing throughout. And this is a just intonated fretboard. <laughs> 